MFV is the Army's fourth attempt to replace the M2 Bradley. This platform has been in service since the early 80s. It received many upgrades since it entered service with the Army, but the fact is it's near the end of its useful life. And uh, this vehicle no longer can accommodate the types of upgrades needed for it in order to be effective on the modern battlefield. In other words, the Bradley does not fit in the Army's future plans. So in 2018, the US Army started the OMFV program. And in 2019, the service issued a RFP. The program attracted only a single competitor, General Dynamics Land Systems. Let's say that ARMA was too ambitious in this process and over-specified some requirements. Since the service uh, expected at least five bidders, in general 2020, the Army decided to reassess the program as they received only one bidder. The goal was to review the requirements and make them more accessible in addition to adopt a more realistic and longer schedule. In February last year, the branch reopened the OMFV competition. This time it used a new uh, strategy by releasing a, a new market survey for the industry. And based on the defense company's feedback, the arm shaped a competitive tender. And in April 2020, the service provided a new OFMV program. It comprised a five steps plan to replace the Bradley. Currently, the program is in the concept design phase. Under this stage, in July this year, the Army awarded contracts to five companies to develop digital concept designs for the OMFV. The total award value for all five agreements is around $300 million. The competitors are American Rimetal, BA Systems, General Dynamics Land Systems, Oshkosh Defense, and Point Blank Enterprises. Now they are all offering a variety of designs. We have Rheinmetall LE3 Harris Textron and Ellison transmission working on a modular open system approach solution, which is based on the Rheinmetall Linux design. As for BA Systems and its partner Elbit Systems, they are working on a modular open systems approach solution. Then we have another team made of Oshkosh, Hanwha Defense, Rafael, Kinetic, and others. They are working towards incorporating the Hanwha Redback chassis and Rafael's Sanson family of turrets. And then finally, the Armor and Ballistic Protection Specialist Point Blank Enterprises teaming with Keshek Mobile Power Systems. Now we'll see another competition in 2023 for the detailed design that will be phase three. There, the Army will look at awarding up to three contracts. The successful companies will then construct and test prototypes in the phase four. In the phase five, that will be the final phase, the US Army intends to select a single supplier in 2027. Oshkosh Defense will release the first ever image of the company's OMFV design. The graphic will be at their booth. Uh, in the case of BA Systems, a technology demonstrator platform will be on display during the USA, and the American Rhine Metal will have on site a large scale model of uh, the Linux OFMV solution, as well as an interactive display. And the American Rhine Metal will have on site a large scale model of the Linux OFMV solution, as well as an interactive display that walks the user to the design.